Okay. So again, this uh, particular piece, this is the two-point perspective. This is going to the left vanishing point, but if everything is parallel, we're not actually taking it to the point, and to the right side. And if, it's, if it comes up, then you would have the part going down because you're too close to the image showing it up. <clears throat> and then once you get it, if you take a look at the drawing or the photo or your reference, that's when you can start to heavy up these these lines, and if the straight edge plays a, a role in there, it gives you enough to just kind of push it in there pretty crispy with that line. And the texture, when you take a look, it's, it has the shape, but now this vinyl shape of the uh, seat takes over. And at first, if you do have luxury of this reference, you can do it once and then zoom in to see the details. So this kind of has this rounded off cushion all the way around. And let's see, build that up for good. And again, using the just to help off with this lines coming across. Goes back. Build that part up. So you can kind of heavy up the lines the first pass after you've kind of laid out all the proportion to it. And it's starting to look at the contour lines, which are the outer lines again. See a little bit of the indentations of things. And again, the contour line really helps because if you concentrate it and see what it's doing, it helps to find most of the form as it comes across. And builds that piece perfectly. So there it is kind of semi-outlined as it goes through with a little bit of a contour. And then as you get closer or zoom in to some of the pictures, you can kind of see the shading. <clears throat> and again, start off, you can even start off with the base tone as you're shading this and illustrate that cone across. up. It goes to highlight the, the lighting of this is kind of added to it, but again you can cross those pieces as you get there. Moving that up. And then on the side, just kind of think of each shape and look at the gradient that it's making that, that'll help with your all of your tones in there. And then you can put a paper down so you can kind of see the shading. It's kind of giving divots into the seat. So you have the contour, but then cross contour, the lines going across it might give you some value to it. I'm kind of bring that down like so.
Okay, it gives kind of a quick tone in there. And keep in mind, just remember that somebody in your field actually designed the look of this entire seat, let alone everything that's in the plane. It's gone into that. Again, look at looking at some of the detail to help you. So the highlights that are in here almost become shapes to help define the form. So when you take a look along this edge, they kind of have a corner there that shows a direction of that fabric that's holding you in. So you want to be sensitive to that particular piece there. There's just the lacing of the lining, the seam, depending on how much detail or how close your drawing is to that section. 